Welcome back guys, Lone Star Pageant here. Thanks for joining me. So the next video up in our precision build series as we near the completion of this rifle will be the installation of a muzzle device. Now what I've chosen to install, it's gonna be the JP Enterprises. It's their three prong. It's a 5.56 caliber flash hider, but it's a very simple installation. So we'll jump inside and get started. Okay, so before we get started with the installation, let's first cover some of the unique features and specifications on this flash hider. So what you see in front of you, this is their half inch by 28 TPI model. Now they offer a very similar model in a 5 8 by 24 TPI. So you've got two options to choose from based on your thread pitch as well as your thread diameter. Now in terms of the material, so it is a carbon steel material and the finish is a black QPQ finish. It's so certainly a durable finish. In terms of the weight, so the advertised weight according to JP Enterprises shows to be 3.3 ounces. Now on my scale, it comes in a little bit heavier at about 3.4 to 3.45 ounces. So not a huge difference obviously, but just something to point out. Now in terms of the nut diameter, so the nut diameter is a three quarter inch OD. Now if you don't have say an armor's wrench, you can use an open ended crescent wrench, of course as long as it matches the three quarter inch OD. Now in terms of the overall length, so it measures 3.125 inches from end to end. Now in terms of the additional projection beyond the end of your barrel, that measures about two and a quarter inches just to give you some frame of reference in terms of the overall additional length to your rifle. Now, one of the major selling points on this particular flash hider is that it does come pre-drilled for a pin and welded installation if you decide to do so. Okay, so in the interest of save time, what I went ahead and did was applied a degreasing agent to the threads of the barrel. Now I used a brake cleaner, but you wanna be sure you remove any dust, debris, grime, or say any oil residue from the manufacturing process of the barrel. Now this is particularly important if say you're removing a muzzle device off of an existing barrel. So you wanna be sure you remove the carbon fouling and build up before you install the new device. Now on top of that, I applied an Aeroshell 64, it's an anti seize grease to help lubricate and season the threads as I install this flash hider. Now if you decide you want more of a permanent installation, instead of applying say an Aeroshell 64 grease, you can use a thread locker for the installation. Now also the pre-drilled hole on the flash hider for the pin and weld installation actually provides you your reference point in terms of when this is timed correctly. So when you install this, you wanna have this particular hole oriented at the six o'clock position or the down position as you're facing the end of the barrel. And then also it does include this double bevel crush washer. Now it doesn't matter the orientation of this crush washer, so you can install it either way, but we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got my upper receiver mounted in a vice block and then that vice block mounted in my bench vise. So we'll go ahead and start our double bevel crush washer onto the barrel. And then from there, you wanna take your flash hider and go and start installing that onto the threads of the barrel. As you do this, you wanna be sure you don't cross thread the flash hider as you tighten it down onto the barrel. And then we'll just get that hand tight and then from there, we can take our armor's wrench or say your crescent wrench, if you don't have an armor's wrench, and slide that over and onto the shoulders of the flash hider. And then from there, we can go ahead and tighten this down. Now you wanna apply approximately about 20 foot pounds of torque, but we'll use the orientation of that pre-drilled hole to be sure that it's timed correctly at that six o'clock position or downward position. All right guys, so wrap up to the video covering the installation of the JP Enterprises, their three prong 556 flash hider. Now what I wanna quickly do is discuss some of the available muzzle devices on the market in terms of options that are out there. We'll define what a flash hider is and then discuss some of the pros and cons on this particular flash hider. So what devices are out there on the market? So obviously you have flash hiders, you have muzzle brakes, you've got compensators, and then you've got combination devices. Now, by definition, what a flash hider is, is it, it efficiently mixes the air with the unburnt powder in your barrel to reduce your flash signature at the end of the barrel. Now, this is a great segue into the primary pro of the use of a flash hider. So say, for example, in a home defense scenario, which will typically be a low light scenario, not only does it avoid giving up a position to say your adversary, but also reduces or eliminates that muzzle flash to where you're not blinded as the shooter. That's a very critical component. Now, another benefit is that this does come pre-drilled to be pinned and welded. So for example, if you're using this on say a 14 and a half inch barrel and wanna pin and weld this, this gives you the overall length required to avoid it being an NFA item. Now, along the same lines in terms of cons. 
So the overall length of this flash hider is lengthy. So if you're applying this to say a 16 inch barrel, it might provide an overall length that might be a little bit too long for especially say a home defense rifle to where it becomes hard to maneuver. Now in terms of price, so this is somewhat of a pro and con. So if you look at the overall spectrum in terms of cost of muzzle devices as a whole, this particular flash hider, which retails for $60, falls at about the average price point of all of those muzzle devices. Now, so that's the pro. So as a con, if you look at just the flash hiders themselves, you can find a good birdcage, an A2 style birdcage, for about $10, which does a great job at reducing flash. So relatively speaking, between $10 and say $60, it can be relatively expensive. But overall, I hope you found the video helpful. Maybe you've considered installing this particular flash hider yourself. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and keep it the good fight. So starting off, what devices are devices? Okay, so before we get started on the installation, let's first talk some talk half inch by 28 TPI model. Now, now along the same lines, is it as a con the overall length of this flash hider isn't as beneficial beneficial beneficial.